Picnic week rolls on with tips on how to pack your grub on the go. If you're worried about keeping things cold and crispy, which is always a health hazard, let's be real about that. Here to teach us how to pack smarter, not harder, is author and content creator Dina Delisa Gonzar. Thank you so much Dina. for being here. Thank you for Woo. having me. Are yes. you guys ready to go on a picnic? We are ready. Yes. Let's go. So we start with sandwiches because yes. this is the like staple. That's the right? building block of <laughs> a great picnic. But you don't want a soggy sandwich, right? No. So what you're going to do is you're going to think about your ingredients. And you're going to skip your oils, your vinegars. Mm -hmm. Try something with fat. You're going to do mayo, maybe some cream cheese, maybe some butter. And not only putting it on the inside, but a really light coating on the outside. On the outside? On the outside. Yes, I know that it's surprising. Messy. Yes, but it's going to keep everything from seeping out of the pores. Also, think about your bread. Maybe you want a crusty bread, like mm -hmm. a sourdough or a thicker Italian bread. And don't throw out the plastic. You want to kind of double triple everything that you're doing. Make sure it's working for you, not against yeah, this you. this is new for me. Yes. It's actually and brilliant though, because it's the right shape. It is. <laughs> it is, it is. And you could pack it in there and it also doubles as garbage. Throw it out, makes everything a little bit lighter at the end. And also, why don't you move beyond Smart. the bread? Yes, try to think of graham crackers or skewers. Mm -hmm. And if you want to start doing the skewers, what you can do is, again, you have your toasted crispy bread. You're going to do a little bit of a club sandwich nice. or a BLT vibe. Yes. And then here, everybody loves a s'more, right? Yes. You have your fluff, you have your peanut butter. Your chocolate. For sure. And maybe you want and to layer chocolate. some bananas on there. Are you a Nutella person? Oh, you know I am. Oh, I mean, who doesn't like good. Nutella? Yeah, or chocolate peanut butter. Anything like that mm -hmm. is is a good a good vibe. And then my favorite, if we move along here, is a snackle box. Yeah. <laughs> I love my this. play on words there. And this you can really, really personalize. And kids love to get involved in packing the snackle box. I mean, what would you put in yours? Um, all the cheese. All the cheese. Lots Skittles of fruit. and more Skittles. Skittles and more uh -huh. Skittles. I mean, it's a great way to pack charcuterie <laughs> as well. Yes. So the other thing, though, is when you go on these picnics, mm -hmm. I'm always worried about keeping things cold. For sure. For because sure. you don't want people to get sick on a picnic. That's the number <laughs> one concern. And what we can do, again, make your ingredients um, work double duty. So here we have some yogurt squeezes mm -hmm. and we have some grapes. Frozen grapes are perfect on the beach because they're great wow, to chew on holy. frozen oh, they are and cold. as they thaw out and they double as you know ice and it makes also your picnic basket a little bit lighter because oh, you're so not carrying that heavy too. yes uh -huh. you're not carrying that heavy heavy ice around and also you take them you grab them eat them go throw them out Again, your picnic it's all done. is lighter. Also, it's so hot, it's nice to have frozen anyway. For sure. But and is it a good idea to take at least an ice chest or something like that? You can definitely still do an ice chest. Use that ice, ice for in drinks a as basket, well. Can you? Not this in this is kind a of fancy one. This is this is a beautiful fancy <laughs> picnic basket. <laughs> this is if you're on a date. Yes. Yes. Children. This is if you're being you're impressing <laughs> someone for <laughs> sure. For sure. And don't forget with your sandwiches, you want to wrap them in wax paper parchment paper. That helps to keep with them getting soggy as well. And fresh fruit and veggies, still a great idea on a picnic, but just make sure to add a little bit of paper towel in the container. I like just put it in the bottom to soak up. Yep, I even do that with my daughter's lunchbox as well. Just put it in there. It takes all that extra condensation and just kind of sucks it all out and helps keep from it getting soggy and smushy, you know, smushy and yucky. This is the fanciest wrapped sandwich. It is, you wanna like, take a little bit of lunch? kitchen twine, you make it <laughs> seem really fancy like your favorite sandwich place. Yeah. There you go, really That's impressive. Super. All right, Dana, you are the best. Thank oh, you so thank much. You so much. We appreciate that. Wonderful. Yes. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.